Little frog here. It is roosting time for my chickens and I'm actually getting them some fresh greens. I'm, I'm mowing some bahia grass that I'm gonna put in here for them. And um, this is actually kind of sad, but I wanted to show you um, the primary predator deterrent I have around my chicken coop is this electric fence. And um, the uh, idea behind it is if something tries to bear it, bury underneath it we've got a low strand and then we have some higher strands for something that will try to climb into the coop that way and uh, I've heard it said that these continuous flow electric fences can in fact um, kill animals that can't get off them quick enough well looks like mr. white oak snake here couldn't get off the fence and he died now on one hand you know I'm always realistic and I, I try to, to not be romantic about predators like some people are. These things can be bad news for your chickens, especially when you're starting off like I am with the new flock and you have biddies because he will eat a baby chicken. And of course, every chicken counts. Now, once your chickens get grown and they're reproducing, it doesn't really matter if you lose some eggs once in a while. It doesn't really matter if you lose some chicks once in a while, so long as you have plenty to make up. I always go with a big flock. I mean, I'm gonna have, if all these biddies make it about, um, oh, how many? How many I'm gonna have? 12, 24, or near 30 head of chicken not counting my guineas so the idea is I, I can afford to lose a few to predators now i don't tolerate big mammalian predators but these snakes because they really can't hurt adults i'm all for them because i, I like them eating rats um so i'm sorry that this guy ran afoul of the fence but it also shows that it is effective so um i'm gonna get this guy out of here and i just wanted to show this to you it's uh, sad but it's also interesting thank you for watching Hey, you want to know what the real irony of this electric fence is? <laughs>